So listen, bro, you don't ever call a man of Omega and not introduce yourself as a man of Omega, ever. You gotta lose some weight, bro. You gotta be around 200 pounds. All right, folks. Pharmacy, y'all don't think I we do it all and we build champions for life. Let me tell y'all something. Pharmacy, doctor, PA, nurse, lawyer, killer. We got killers too. I'm not one of the killers, but we got killers. Okay, pilots, you name it. School teachers, entrepreneurs, Polish entrepreneurs, cats and dang, all over the place making money. Let me tell y'all something. You know what you come on here for? Greatness. The formula for greatness is the same. You just got to find a guy that understands the formula, and it's all about the how. How to get to where you want to go is the big key in life. That's what you're doing here. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Listen, man, we got like 250,000 people watching these videos that ain't subscribed. Take a second, support the craziness that is We Build Champions for Life, and smash that subscribe button. All right, folks, enjoy this bad boy. The end's gonna get a little funny. Omega Sci Fi is always in the house, baby. I'm interested in going in the military. I'm currently yeah. in from school. In my second year, uh, I, I didn't know what branch to go into. I honestly uh, uh, don't have a preference. Yeah. I spoke to Army, Army ROTC uh, recruiter at my school to see if I can get into the ROTC program with the Army. They say they can have me in as soon as uh, spring 2025 and then head into, uh, I think, it's, it's training that I missed for MS1 and MS2. Okay, so listen, you, you don't have to go in. Are you Who's paying for school? Uh, I'm paying for school. I have a lot of loans and debt. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm going to put you on the phone with my man, okay, from Finley, Ohio. He's a pharmacist in the Air Force right now. Mm -hmm. I'm almost positive that they either paid off all his student loans or they paid for school when he was at Finley. Got it. He didn't do no military stuff until he got out. He went to to whatever it is, OSET or whatever they call it at the Air Force. Have you looked into that at all? Uh, I looked in the Air Force, but I thought I have to be in the Army for them to pay off my loans. So, so all this, all of the military medical programs are pretty much the same. Okay. So, if the Army's gonna pay off your loans, then the Air Force is gonna pay off your loans. The Navy's gonna pay off your loans, like. They all pretty much the same. They're not operating differently, really. Okay. Did the Army say they're going to pay off your loans? Yes. Yes, on the website they said they would, but I didn't go speak to any recruiters. Okay. And how long How long are they asking for commitment-wise? Three years. Three years. Okay, easy day, bro. Easy day. They're all the same. I would tell you, uh, man, if I had a choice, I'd probably go Air Force, personally. Okay. If you're going to be a pharmacist, you might as well be on a nice base and a nice location and a nice place. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I know location and place are the same thing, but I'm just saying like nice. Army, you could be stationed all over the globe in, in Polk, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Not that Polk, Louisiana is a bad place, but it isn't Tacoma, Washington. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So I would tell you to go look at that, and I would tell you to go do it now. So my guy got picked up. I want to say second second semester. I mean, second year. Let me see where he is. Let me see where he is. Hang on. I'm going to send him a text message right now. All right. What other questions you got? Um, Are your that, grades good? Uh, I have a, uh, no, I have a 2.73 GPA. What do you got to have to stay in? Uh, 2.5. Okay. So then let's tell you, what are you doing to study? Uh, I I break down my um my classes and schedule and uh sections. I do a Pomodoro method. I study about uh four to six hours a day uh while I'm okay. in school. Um currently I'm just an intern at Cleveland Clinic, so I'm just really just focusing on uh the internship and just working out. That's all I do. Working out? Yeah. Aren't you gonna I be just, a pharmacist? Yeah, but I, I just work out just on my my spare time. I got you. I got you. Okay. Um are you studying with the really smart people in the class? Yes, sir. You are. Yes, sir. And they and they are they studying differently than you are, or what, what's? Um, no, I just think they study for a very long time. So I study in groups. I study with them. I use their uh, materials that they give me. Um, my my GPA is really low because I I failed a course. I tried to stay in at like to write it out to try to bring it up. I didn't do it, so I I took the F. 
that dropped my GPA really low, but that's the main reason. Have you already retook that class? Yeah, I, I got to be in it. That was early on? Uh, it was uh, this past semester. Okay. It happens, bro. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens. So you just got to stay in the fight. I don't know. You know, I don't know what the requirements are for the military. They may have a grade requirement. I don't know. We'll find out. He'll get back to me when he get back to me. And then I'll put the two of you in contact. And we'll get some answers there. But I know the process as far as going in the military. We got a ton of kids in the military and medical. And basically, you just apply, and then you get accepted, and then the terms are what they are. You know what I'm saying? So you got one more year, like 20, 26, you graduating? 27, I'll be done. So how are you in your, your second year? So it's like, they call it like a, a P-tween. So I'm take, I, had, I had to, I, I was held back a year. That's pretty much what it was. So I you had to do you had to do a bunch of preliminary stuff before they would let you into school. No, I was in school. I was uh, progressing as normally. I failed a class that was a requirement to take uh, take class I was supposed to uh, take in my P two year. Yep, taking them this upcoming year. Yep. So you behind a year now. Yes, sir. So you got two more years till you graduate. Yes, sir. Okay, so we ain't in no rush. Feds will get some answers for us. And then once we get some answers, we'll we'll know which way to go. Okay. Thank Easy you. day, bro. Easy day. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing you trying to do is hard. How much you weigh right now? 220, 5'9". Five, oh, so you 5'5"? Five, five? Five, no, 5'9", five, 5'9". Nine, five, nine. Okay, you got to lose some weight, bro. You got to be around 200 pounds, man. What's the standard? Uh, what I for the army, I seen like one seventy four. I don't know how accurate that was, but I was starting to lose weight like right now. Yeah, you gotta lose some weight. You gotta lose some weight. I wouldn't do the ROTC route. Me personally, I wouldn't do it. Cause you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna lose so much time to, that you could be studying and you're really not gonna gain nothing from it. Okay. If they're gonna pay for your school at the end and write you a check and pay off your loans. Then why would you mess around with ROTC? That's gonna cost you a bunch of time to go commission and go do something you're already gonna go do anyway. Are they talking about paying you? Are they gonna are they gonna pay you other than the yeah. midshipman statement? What are they gonna pay you E5 pay? Uh, I have no clue. I didn't go into depth with the conversation uh with the ROTC recruiter. Uh they they made me fill out like some paperwork just to see where I was. They sent me a form of like what routes I could take, and that was as far as the conversation yeah, went. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally wouldn't mess with it. Where'd you go to undergrad? Uh, Norfolk State University. How'd you end up in Cleveland from Norfolk State? Uh, so from Norfolk State, I graduated with, bi with biology. And then from there, I went to um, pharmacy school. I go to Howard University College of Pharmacy. And then from there, I got an internship at Cleveland Clinic in the pediatric. Oh, you at Howard for pharmacy school? Yes, sir. Man, I don't want to hear nothing out of you, bro. You at the you at one of the best HBCUs, man. You living the dream at Howard over there on First Street. You living the dream, dog. There's so much. Oh my God, man. I don't want to hear nothing out of you. Your whole medical school full of superstars, correct? Uh, yeah, but I've been seeing you on YouTube. You give really solid advice, so I want to speak to you and get guidance on my career. Are you good, bro? You good? I mean, we get you taken care. Of. You Greek? Yes, sir. I'm a member of Omega Sci Fi, just like yourself. Okay, you just gonna leave that out? You ain't gonna you ain't gonna start off with that? Nah, I didn't want to. Do I need to send some goons down there to Howard to tighten you up oh, to, to no, talk no. about protocol. Not, not at all. I can do that real quick, Jay. I'll just, I just get on the phone, call some guys. Even in Cleveland, I'll call some cats in Cleveland from my time in Michigan. Come on, bro. You're supposed to lead with that. Okay. Um, what other questions you got? Um, Reserves or active? Or the, the active duty. Go bang it out. Get it done. Okay. They're going to pay for your, your pharmacy degree. They're going to take all that money off your chest and go get your experience in the military. You may like it, right? The bros run the military. The bros run the army. Like You got to go in the army because the bros run every army base in the country. It's the best thing in the world. Okay. Okay. All right, Fed say he's going to talk, man. He's going to set up a time to talk to you. Hang on, let me make sure you ain't put this shit in your first email. Yeah, bro, when I see you, I'm going to neck the shit out of you, man. I don't see nothing in here about no Q-Dog. Ain't nothing in here, so you get neck. When I finally meet you, sometime in the future, I'm gonna neck the shit out of you. You gonna take it because you ain't do nothing right. Wait a minute, I don't Correct. Know. Where'd you cross at? Norfolk State. Nah, uh, Capacity Howard University, Capacity Dark and Dark. Capacity Howard, grad chapter. 
Because I'm about to say, if you pot gamma, I'm definitely putting a hit, a hit out on you. Because I'll be, I ask you what each key no boat and did that and big brother. That's what happened. Okay, don't get it twisted, bro. Don't get it twisted. What year are you? I just crossed 2024 this year, spring. Oh, that's that. why. So listen, bro, you don't ever call a man of Omega and not introduce yourself as a man of Omega, ever. Yes, sir. Ever. That ain't some shit I should have to ask you as a 2024 motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You yes, should sir. start with, hey, my name, your line number, your gamma pi. What'd you say? Kappa Psi. I definitely put a hit out on you and Kappa Psi. I'll call damn dude right now. Who You know who the DR is? No, 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 sir. I do not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where he went to school? Yes, sir. Naval Academy. You know who his dean is? No, sir. That's right. The Naval Academy. So keep it pushing. Where are you from originally? Carson, California. Carson. That's why we got problems. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Linwood High School. Linwood? Okay. Michael Jefferson and, and Big John Wilson went to Carson High School. There's Carson High School, right? Yes, sir. Blue and yellow or blue and what is it? Carson High School is blue and white. Blue and white. That's right. They had these gangster ass letterman jackets with their picture on the back embroidered. That shit was so gangster. Mike Jeff ran 10 2 and Big John was 6 7 2 uh, 340. And they got yeah. off the plane. I said, damn. Woo. So, Carson, California, son. Let's go. All right, what else you got? That was it. You you laid it out. I got your PDF, so I know the workouts. Um, you don't need I, that shit. You, you're, you're a pharmacist. What am I going to tell you to do? Uh, How much time do you get for working out? Uh, about two hours. No. No. You get. I'm going to give you 45 minutes of fire. You see Jesus and everybody else in that 45 minutes. Yeah. I need you to study more. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yeah. I need you to figure out what you need to do. And I talked to Feds about it, right? Feds yeah. played college football and was in his first year of pharmacy. So talk to him about some, some study habits and stuff like that. Are you familiar with memory palaces? No. Like Google memory palaces is a way to memorize stuff. Okay. Yes, sir. Because I know you're doing a lot of, you, are you done with anatomy already? Yes, sir. Okay. What are you into now? So right now we're going into our IT courses. It's um, it's it's called integrated therapeutics. This is more so like a real world application, um, in the nitty gritty of pharmacy. Okay, okay. Talk to Fez, man. He'd be a good dude for you to kind of bounce stuff off of. He's a great dude, man. Fez is one of my one of our best dudes, man. Killer, killer in the pharmacy. Dude. He was super tight in, super tight in. Okay. Thank you you so got any other questions? Not at, not at all. Not at okay. all. I didn't get added to the group chat though. So um I, I just, just added you to the group chat. Hey, let me see. Y yep, got it. No? You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, listen, this is what I'm gonna tell you, Q. You 2024. Let me tell you something, bro. Who's your dean? My dean, uh, Brandon Schroeder. Who? Brandon Schroeder. Schroeder? Schroeder, yes, sir. Okay, how'd that dude call me? Yes, sir. Yep. Have him call me. Have him call me. Okay? Yes, sir. Don't ever let that shit happen again, bro. That's the first thing out your mouth, okay? Yes, sir. Will not. Hey, you and Neo, so you got to learn the ways, all right? All right. You ain't Pi Gamma either, so I'll not cut you no slack. No slack, Norfolk State. All right, bro. Jalen, let me know. I expect to hear from your dean shortly. My dude. Thank you, Don't sir. let me. Hey, let me tell you something. If that dean, if I don't get a text message here in the next 20 minutes, Bro, I guarantee you I'm sending some goons to come find you at Howard Medical School or Howard Dental or uh, Pharmacy School because that's going to be the easiest ask in the world. They're going to get to come down there and walk the halls looking for some dude and shit, okay? All right. All right, Q. Hope you like this video as much as I do, man. Hey, reach out. If you're a rock star, man, you're just trying to find your way, you're trying to figure out what direction you're supposed to go, give us a call, bro. We got people everywhere across this damn United States. We killing it, man. We killing. I hooked my dude up right there with one of my other guys that's already a pharmacist, been in the Air Force for probably five, six years now, murdering it. That's what we doing. We not trying to play fair. We not trying to get there with no help. We trying to reach out, open arms, ask for some help, get to where we want to go, get to where we want to be in life. Hope you enjoyed this bad boy as much as I did because my boy, I'm waiting on a text message from his dean right now. Then we're going to light fire to him because he got to know the protocols. Other than that, you know what we're doing on this channel. We building champions for life.